Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to split multiple line or multi line records into separate rows. So what does that mean? Let's say, for example, we have a table like this. And basically, this is almost like a attribute value pair. You see, we have our we have our attributes or our fields, region, west, date, and a date. Actually, the date is in serial number format. We'll change that later on. Invoice and then the invoice amount, subtotal, subtotal amount, total, total amount. We don't want it to look like that. Sometimes we get data like this. We want it to look like this into a table where we can do some further analysis. So you see the header fields, they are kind of proper header names. And in the subsequent rows, these are the values of all those headers. So we're going to use Power Query to see how this is done. Now here I'm in Excel and I have my attribute value pairs. This is basically this is my multi-line records and I want to transform this. It's almost like taking this range of data and doing a pivot on it but we're going to use Power Query and using the pivot feature in it and we're going to do that but without the aggregation part without summing it. So let's see how it's done. Click on my range of data, go to data and from table and range it's going to try to figure out if this is a table or not. If not convert it into a table. Yes, uh, no, my table does not have headers. Click OK. And it's going to open up the Power Query editor window. And what we're going to do here is we need to create an index column. Go into transform, oh, go under add column, index column, I'll use from zero. That's fine, zero or one doesn't really matter. And after this, what we need to do is create another column and, and have an if column. So basically what we want to say is we have these repeating values, region, region, region. And no matter where region starts, that's going to be our grouping. So you can see this first grouping is region west, and it's got all the data here. The second grouping is east, and it's got all the data here. And the nice thing about doing this is because if we have something missing here, maybe uh, this region didn't have a service charge, and that, that is not there, we're going to have the same grouping because it's going to base on this region value or that header. So what we need to do is create a conditional column, go under add column, conditional column. And here, this is where we're going to say, if this column name, column one equals region, R-E-G-I-O-N, then we want to bring back that index value zero. So we're going to say, select column and bring back the value of that index column. And if it doesn't find region in that, in that column, then just bring back nothing. Click OK. And now we have our other columns. So the rest are nulls, right? So, so here's one grouping, region west, that's, we give it an index of zero. The other grouping here, region east, that's index of seven. We don't need this column anymore, so let's delete that. Just press delete, click on that column, press delete. Right click, fill down this column because all those other lines, all those other rows are gonna be the same group. So we're gonna fill down that value. All these are zeros, this, this is zero grouping there. And all that we need to do here now is we need to pivot it. So select on column one, go to transform and select pivot column. And we're going to pivot this column based on the values column. So what do we want in our values column? So similar to like in a pivot table, what do we want in our values? We want, we want the values here in these rows, but we don't want to aggregate it. We don't want to count it. We don't want to sum it. We just don't want it to aggregate at all. So click OK. And now it's pulled it in. So we don't need this index column anymore because that kind of helped us group it. Click, click on that, press delete. And now we just need to make sure that these data types are correct. These are dates and the way that Excel sees dates is serial numbers. So we need to convert it back to a data type of date. So that brings it back as a date. That's a string, that's fine. This is a number, that's fine if it's in this um, general format. And the rest here, press the shift key and the total key, these are all data type of currency. And one thing about Power Query is even though I convert into currency, you can see after I go to home and close and load to bring it in back into the Excel workbook, it's not going to translate that currency here, even though it is in the editor. So I'm just going to select this shift and go under home and make it currency again. And so now we've got our proper table format. We turn this into this, where it's a little bit easier to read instead of like everything's all in two columns and everything's in their separate rows. We have it for 
our one record here and our other record here. So that's how you can split or convert multi-line records into its own separate rows. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.